tanulóan nő vagyunk ilyen, hát itt ez a szolgálcsot a Three key ones. 
uh, AP, UPI, and New York Times. And uh, they're the only three days uh, every day uh, uh, from the United States. And they're frightened. They've been frightened by the Vietnamese police. They're really afraid physically. They're mostly sick, not dysentery. They think that they lie to, and they have been condescended to socially by some of our people. I'm not that. The very first day, I'm going to invite one of them to lunch along with my wife and me, and I'm going to ask him to the class. Next day, I'm going to ask him to the class. I'm going to begin right like that. At a time when I'm too fresh there for them to expect to get anything out of me, uh, uh, and try to at least get them into a, into a human frame of mind. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, they must know that I'm not going to be a terribly good news source, but at least I'm not going to lie to them. And anything that and they can always come in to see me, and anything that uh, they're entitled to get, I'll move heaven to see that they get it. The time may come when we're going to just have to try to do something about the exam, and I think that's going to be an awfully critical period. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know how well prepared we are for that out there, who we would sort of support, or, or who we would, and uh, I think that's going to be the key, be your key problem, and she, this woman's right, so we don't see other situations that go on without disintegrating further, this place which may be that they ought, they ought to go, but it's just a question of uh, how skillfully that's done, if you get the right fellow who she said, uh, she used the phrase to me last night, that the type of blood that had in Iraq in 1958, but it was a pure dirty side and all that. Well, I've got to, I'm taking, and by the way, I want to thank you for the wonderful help and support I've had here in the government <laughs> office. Excision 1. 38 seconds excised. But we don't want to make with the exam, which is a great temptation to do the press, to do what we did with Chang, you know, by the... Chiang Kai-shek was so tasted by American reporters, American public opinion was formed, and it was hopeless. Well, maybe it was hopeless, but uh, looking back on it, I think probably we would think that we probably could have, bad as it was, we would have much better off to have done something about it. I, I assume the situation would be hopeless, but I am also conscious of the fact that the American press, their anti-government, wherever they are almost, including here, and, the, and the, I just want to be sure that there is somebody who would be better than this fellow. After all, he has sustained himself against the French in a century against us, but that's not so much, but against the French and then against the uh, against Viet Cong and did it for 10 years. That's a pretty good record. So I don't like to see us just to decide that Bond would be better just because we get to eat in the press. Now, I don't know enough about it, but I do remember that all our people always seem to get patient. Thailand, uh, Chang got it, South Korea, everybody we're for always is a son of a bitch. So I think that uh, you have to make an independent judgment of it. You got to admit about it. Yeah. <coughs> He's very courageous, physically courageous. He's got a lot of stamina. And he has never said, you do this for me or I'll go over to the other. And he's never, never done that. Now, there aren't too many men like that in the country. Maybe there are some others. If so, it might not affect my life. There aren't too many men that are like that. And that's what Harold thinks. But we got to the point where he said, uh, anybody other than Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I think the vice president is, is worse than Jim, for what I am. So, uh, he's worse. Uh, and there are some many that are labor leader that George knows, my son George knows, who, who is a thoughtful fool, who's the head of the rice growers, who is everybody's success. You can be a top star and still not be uh, uh, politically uh, point of tax. You know. He has, I say, gone and I just, you know, everybody always, everybody gets uh, attacked. Uh, uh, you remember all that stuff about Greece at the end of uh, the war, you know, when the Congress really almost took over Greece, and yet all yeah. we read in the American press was the fascist nature of the Greek government. So I, I don't think there's any doubt that the press are instinctively, uh, a lot of them liberal and the uh, some bury and they carry against any authoritarian regime, they rebel. And then there's a, it's kind of, uh, so I don't know, I, I've never, I, I assume that probably this fellow is an impossible situation to save, but I just want to be sure we're not getting a policy made for us by a couple of smart young employees. Yeah. So that's a few points in common, they're looking at a story, they're looking at something sensational. Uh, and they're not, uh, they don't realize that an authoritarian government is what people have always had in most parts. But well, they have to have. It's just really quick for anybody else to run it. Just this bitch, of course. Well, 
Uh, she's made it. Uh, she's made it. But as, as I say, uh, just going, I think we have to leave it almost completely in your hands and your judgment. I don't know whether we'd be better off or the alternative would be better. Maybe it will be. If so, then we have to move in that direction. But I think I'd take a good look at it before I come to that conclusion. Because no one's always felt that the yeah, end was better than anybody that uh, we get. Now everybody says, you know, they said that no one was soft and them and so on. But that may be, however, been the right policy. I remember mean, two years ago, everybody was saying we're all through out there in six months. And, you know, I remember the article was coming out, we'd have to put American troops in there. And then they told him, said, no, we thought it'd be all right. So I, I just figured that we don't want to get carried away until you had a good chance to look at it. Well, that's very helpful. Yeah. That's very helpful. Um, how does your wife like going out there? It's turned into the most interesting assignment there is. Well, she's she's all for it. When you yeah. very kindly offered to me, I went and asked her. Oh, she said yes. Yeah. So it's simply nice she's coming right out with me on Saturday. And uh, she's looking forward to it very much. And, and I think there's a lot she can do. Yeah. We have a big American community there. And uh, some of them, I think, are a little bit scared and you know, afraid of diseases and being shot at. And I think there's a lot you can do to pull the American community together, which I'm planning to when do. When will you get there? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about a week because I'm going to go to Hawaii. I'm going to Hawaii and get three five and twelve. And then they want me to, the foreign minister of Japan wanted me to call it out in Tokyo, so I'm going to do that. And then Dean Rush wanted me to get the briefing by the Consul General in Hong Kong on the situation in Communist China. Yeah. So I won't get there for a little over a week. Right. And I'd rather do that because there's, there's a sleep adjustment. It's 12 hours of time. Yeah. And the day I arrive, is, is the first day on a thing like this, is usually a very big day. Yeah. And all the people that try to embarrass you are out in full force. Yeah. I don't want to, I want to feel fairly good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the sleep business. Yeah. Yeah. I want to feel fairly fresh when I get there so that when they talk about me, I can make control of that. Yeah, that's how it's I'm, uh, I'd like to see this, uh, PL4A is distributed through voluntary charter organizations, distributed through Buddhist, uh, Buddhist organizations. They run orphanages and refugee camps. And all Can that we give them any now? No. 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 Uh, just American? Uh, American uh, uh, Catholics, Mennonites, and Care. And uh, I think it would give me a, it would give us some leverage. If we can do it, it'll make us popular with the Buddhists. If the government objects, that it's an interference in internal affairs, uh, I can ask him to ask what it's to name somebody and, and make him do something for us so that yeah. we won't give it. Yeah. I want to get some leverage with this man. I think he, he thinks he's got it all cooked too much. So I want to tell you about that. And then I'd like to see a, a, a map, which I've never seen, has never been made, black and white map, no, no color, showing the areas under Viet Cong domination two years ago and the areas today. The time I used to get made out at the UN, it would be pretty in any ordinary newspaper, and you could see the part. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be helpful here yeah. and helpful there, too. Yeah. I think the public relations uh, haven't been as good as the, as the results justify. I noticed the way that fellow in the time wrote it this morning about he talked about the last year, not the last two months of the war in the Delta has been going bad for the last year. You read the story this morning? Yes. Yeah. I don't uh, that was a more ominous report than the ones we've been getting from Hawking. Hawking seems to have done an outstanding job. But uh, this story seems to paint a pretty black picture in the day. Well, if the uh, if this Buddhist thing keeps on, it's bound to get into the army eventually. And that's that would be bad. That would be bad. Well Hawkins is a very inferior officer and uh, I'm glad that they plan to keep him on after his term expires in January, I think, and it'll be a I'd be very unhappy if you yeah, leave that. Yeah. He is very, very good. Well, I think those are the... Uh, uh, I'm planning more cultural contact. Uh, and they have a great respect for culture and learning in that country. And I'm going to get to try to get some books to the university and, and, and get uh, try to develop that side of things a little bit. Um, well, those are about the principal What about the food thing? Is there any problem about uh, arranging that? Can we do that all right? I've been in touch with AID, and, uh, and uh, uh, they've told me how to do it. Uh, and I went and gave a memorandum to Hilton, uh, 
Carl and Bonner didn't even need to bother about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and Hilton seemed to think he could handle it. All right, right. That could give us something to do. Something to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was asking Forrest, though. I, I, I had to get a report on the whole Buddhist thing, how much of it is political and how much religious and how much is subversive. How do you judge it? I, uh, I think it's only partly religious. Um, what is a, isn't there a religion that makes great demands? Uh, isn't there a religion that has a lot of this? Uh, a little bit like this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, people, they want to have a funeral or they want to have a wedding, and, and the man will go uh, sometimes with his wife to keep her happy yeah. and his best yeah. Well, if I was a girl of 18, go and try to chop her hands off in front of the altar. Uh, I think they have a sense of injustice. Which is always powerful, the same as any people. I think they have a feeling that they're discriminating against. I don't think there's been persecution. I don't think they've persecuted the Buddhists. I think just a natural thing to give the Pope to the best educated people, who are the people who are educated in France, who naturally happen to be Christians. I think it should come along that way. And then, of course, there was police stupidity in the white there in the 8th of May. That could happen anywhere. Uh, and, uh, then there was a comedy of errors because they flew the Vatican flag and then Jeff said, pull down the Vatican flag, put up the Jeff Nam flag. And then they thought, and then a month later they put up the Buddhist flag, and then the police, remembering that the had ordered the Vatican flag pulled down, uh, they told them to pull down the Buddhist flag and then got stupid for shot in the crowd, and as a matter of fact, killed two Catholics in the crowd. I think the religious angle was very slight. Very yes, fortunate that the Catholic Buddhist fight. And so, of course, the press has mentioned that all the time. Because the fact that these people were Catholic is killing us about it. So, the heart of the matter is that they've established a police state and that they're interfering with the liberties of the people and that you have resentment born of that. I think, I think that's what it is. And that's what Hemsworth wants to say. That's at the bottom of the whole thing. They're completely, she says to me, that, uh, She's a very impressive person. Uh, they're completely cut off from everything. It's very hard to get into the palace. The only people that get in are people that tell them what they want to hear. They don't have the slightest idea of what's going on in the country. And if that's true, it's very serious. And the Cam, the brother who goes into Central Province, nobody ever sees him. He's locked up in his place. And the, uh, the bishop is uh, the, he's living in the 12th century. Yeah, he's another brother. Yeah, he's another brother. Yeah. Uh, the bishop is a brother. The governor of the central province is a brother. The principal advisor is a brother. And the ambassador to London and Paris is a brother. And, uh, but they, as you say, they are strong and And, 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 and uh, I hate to let go with my uh, claws until I got a hold of yeah, my feet. Yeah, yeah. But if they all get assassinated, then you're going to have to. What about Madam New? Is she, is she a lesbian or what? You know, you're awful masculine. Well, I think she probably is a lesbian. I think she also was a very promiscuous sort of man, man, too. But she had this terrific moral reaction. Yeah, yeah she's closed up all the dads and all the people yeah. and a very soldier. Yeah. I think it's very tough. I'm going to try to give the USO a, yeah. a little encouragement out there. Yeah. Because we can't go to the night and have some dads. We've got to do something. And she did all that. She had this act of puritanism. Uh, after she uh, yeah, so was <laughs> <the walls. laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's a dangerous combination of it. It's all well, it yeah, <laughs> that's, that's very well put. Uh, okay. I just, let's see, I told you about everything I have in mind. I, because if I can ever get it, um, if it's actually ever get back on the normal track, I'd like it to. Turn into a real political leader and give the country a sense of national purpose. And when we re when we uh, reclaim this land from the communists, make it possible for the farmer to have a good living here as a country with 80 percent of the people are farmers. And yet, sir, the policy is adapted to the city dweller. And and the farmer doesn't get the price that he ought to get for his rice and all those things. And as the military makes its gains. The farmer ought to be doing better, but then he'll support the military. He'll give him intelligence, and, and he'll be feeling good. Uh, they don't do anything like that because the Saigon is all cut off from the farmer, and, and for, for generations the tradition is that the capital tells the village what to do, but never anything from the village to the capital. Uh, I'd like to do what they did in the Philippines and have a suggestion system whereby anybody in any of these villages can send a message 
the Saigon, and you have a competent man with a staff to plot with them, throw away all the nuts on it, and do something about the meritorious one. Yeah. So in the Philippines, with the Huck thing, that had a great effect in making Mag Sai Sai popular and then making the army popular. And then have the and army... Do you that anybody could send a message to him? Yes, Mag Sai Sai arranged that anybody in the Philippines could send a message to him, because he never thought But he had a very competent man with a very competent staff who really followed through on the meritorious man. And it, and it had a chronic general answer, oh, whom you know, yeah, yeah. really, he's a valuable scientist. That, that created great psychology. Then they arranged to take care of the farmers that got wounded, take care of them in army hospitals. And then farmers that had litigation about their land, they take the judge advocates out of the army and they would litigate the farmers. And it all made the army popular. Those are all psychological things. I'd like to give them a little lesson on how to be a politician. Yeah, yeah. What about Zahid? He's got a pretty good press man, they all tell me. They tell me he's Garvey, he's a press man, and then the head of the USIA is a former time wise man from Bob Mecklen. Yeah, here. In fact, I'm told the US government has put the first team out there. And that's very exciting. The president of the Economic Commission is apparently very good. And I think that in LA Falls, they're all very good. And of course, I have, if somebody is a blabbermouth, or if somebody is not satisfactory, I have the authority to uh, send it back. Uh, I'd like to have your photograph. Yeah, good. All right, when are you going to leave? I'm waiting on Saturday. I'm leaving here right now to go to New York. I have some appointments in New York. I'm going to be ahead of me, so I'm going to be You want to come with me? Yes, Sally. I'm with Sally. And then I'm going to have to get to New York. I see you turn a carriage.
cut the nail up and that. Yeah, it takes a while to go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have a bunch of these new pipe flats. Well, up there. Yeah, it's fun to And when you learn to do the fog, you forget about how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
think if it ever goes back to that house, you know, how what will happen to him. I don't know whether we're going to get Wayne to just take him in there. Yeah, but I, uh, if you could ever get him, uh, I don't know whether maybe we could get him to do a little bit of uh, I mean, no water, so might go far. Higher education won't go for the rest. And the vocational education goes in one pack. Yeah, good day. 